hi there everyone how are you doing welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking on this video and today i am so privileged to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with a prominent non-partisan political analyst and university lecturer by the name professor Herman Manyora. If you haven't checked him out on his YouTube channel, kindly do because you are missing a lot. He has ideas worth sharing. So ensure that you check him out on his YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. So thank you so much. Let's listen to Professor Herman Manyora. Let's listen to what he has to say today. You're welcome. Okay, introduce yourself. I, my name is Manyora, Herman Manyora. I'm a lecturer at the University of Nairobi. And I do a number of things in media spaces. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I understand you're a non-partisan political analyst. Yes, I try to be as much as possible. Uh -huh. uh, but in that terrain, people will not believe you when you say you're non-partisan. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you may betray yourself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you may say one or two things that make people think mm -hmm. you are actually partisan. Mm -hmm. But I think I, I, I take myself to be non-partisan. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you are a political analyst. Can you tell us what is the current political situation in Kenya? Well, the situation in Kenya is a little fluid. We've never been where we are today. Mm -hmm. uh, we've never seen an insider within government. Mm -hmm the extent of a deep period, going all out mm -hmm. to fight his boss, the head of state, and uh, getting a lot of following. Mm -hmm. So we are in a new terrain. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of this we, we might say we'll have to wait and see how, it, uh, how things unfold. Mm -hmm. uh, in brief, it is a little, it's very unfamiliar. Yeah. Is it tense or...? Uh, it's yeah, it's very hard. tense. The situation is tense. Uh -huh. Uh, it it tends to the extent we need to to find how to navigate it as a country because any time something could go wrong. Uh -huh. uh, we are actually in a worse place than we were in 2007. Mm -hmm. yeah. What makes you say so? You know, in 2007 is the narrative of 1 versus 41 or 42. Uh -huh. Now we have somebody running away with a segment of society that cuts across, mm -hmm. uh, almost dividing Kenya into the haves and the have-nots, and that's a little dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, then we, at the same time, we have a person who is all out to become president, mm -hmm. and uh, he's so determined, so ambitious, almost so ruthless, that you can almost feel it in the air. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, a, in a society that is tribally charged like ours, mm -hmm. things could go out of, out of hand. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean by it's a little tricky. Yeah. Okay, so in your own opinion, what qualities best describe an ideal politician? It depends on where. Uh -huh. Politicians are the same people all over the world, basically. Uh -huh. There are people who, in the modern state, mm -hmm take public office to, to, to for, for their personal benefits. They want to be the ones controlling the resources of the country. Mm -hmm. They want to be the ones directing things and the events. Uh, rarely do we have politicians in the normal parlance, in, in the normal arrangement, mm -hmm. you could say in the modern state, okay. in the modern democracies, uh -huh. who actually are out to serve the public. Mm -hmm. Uh, the public is a second thought. That's what you find in modern history. Uh, it's only when people have taken over through revolutions, uh, not necessarily violent revolution, but through ideological, ideological laden revolutions, that we have had transformations of society mm -hmm. to a grand scale. Mm -hmm. And you can conclude that uh, people like Gaddafi, other people in Latin America and a host of others, a few others here and there, uh, including even Mao Zedong, mm -hmm. that uh, these are people who had a vision to help the people. Mm 
-hmm. But basically, in a normal democracy, especially in a Western democracy, these are just people who want to to get the best the best that the state has to offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, in your own opinion, the best qualities of a politician should be the one who can serve the citizens. That's somebody who could have a vision. Uh -huh. Once in a while, they come on the scene. Mm -hmm. Once in a while you have somebody in Brazil, somebody in Turkey. Once in a while you have uh, you have a politician uh, who comes with the intention of transforming society. You mm -hmm. can see in Morocco uh, this young king. Mm -hmm. You can see even I've been in Ethiopia. Apart from these disruptions mm -hmm. of uh, civil war, once in a while you get a politician who has a vision for the country, mm -hmm. whose will who enters office. Not for himself, but, mm -hmm. but he has a vision to serve the country, transform. Mm -hmm. So you can get somebody who, for example, we can get a Kenyan politician mm -hmm. wanting to be president to change this country. Mm -hmm. and what I have, what I have in mind when I talk about change, I'm looking at a situation like let's say somebody becomes president next year, mm -hmm. the kind of leader I have in mind. Mm -hmm. If you came ten years after some absence, if you've not been in Kenya, mm -hmm. and there was this kind of leader, a visionary leader in has been a president from 2022 and you land here around 2030 mm -hmm. then you will not believe this is the same country you left that kind of leader is what i'm talking about a leader with a vision mm -hmm. with ideas mm -hmm. and then with a will and the intention to transform their society mm -hmm. such a leaders are few uh -huh. yeah. so do you think we have any in our country it is difficult to say yes and no mm -hmm. uh, if you look at raila of 2007, mm -hmm. he's that, he was that kind of leader. Mm -hmm. If he had become president then, he would almost measure what I'm saying. The kind of person whose singular purpose in politics mm -hmm. was to bring change mm -hmm. for the better. Mm -hmm. uh, the years have mellowed him a bit. I'm not so sure I see the same Raila I knew, but you compare to the current crop, he's still way ahead of the rest. Mm -hmm. Then we have people like Mother Karua, who I would believe if they were given a chance to lead, they would transform society merely by insisting on the adhering to the rule of law. And the people will be forced actually to do what they are supposed to do. And of course with Mother Karua you can then talk about zero tolerance for corruption in the really sense. Mm -hmm. Because she hasn't stolen herself, or at least not noticeably. Mm -hmm. uh, she's not beholden to anybody. And she could transform society. People like that. But there are few like that. People like Mkisa, too, they have ideas of how to change this country. Mm -hmm. Now, having ideas and getting a chance are two different things. Okay. So, in your own opinion, a politician can uh, bring about uh, a utopian society? You may choose to call it utopian if, if you are biased very long. Uh -huh. But for me, my bias is so high. Uh -huh. uh, by the time I get to utopian, the world will have changed. I believe we can transform societies. Mm -hmm. I believe what happened to Singapore and in Singapore and South Korea, mm -hmm. uh, what is happening with the Asian Tigers, what is happening with the BRICS mm -hmm. uh, in the recent years, can happen to any society and even much more than that. Mm -hmm. But you cannot achieve that without leadership. That's mm -hmm. my thing. I think it's not utopian to say mm -hmm. that we. We, we can have a president who can remove and wipe out the slums from Nairobi in five years or so. Mm -hmm. We can have a president who will ensure there's no stealing and we can change our education system, our health. We can have a president who will superintend over taxes so that they are not punitive and yet we collect enough to change this country. Mm -hmm. We can have a president who can put Kenya first so that foreigners do not have a field day in this country to do dumping and do all manner of things that kill our own industries and kill our jobs. Mm -hmm. That to me is not utopian. Mm -hmm. no. uh, what do you understand by utopian? Really? Utopian is a make-believe world. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> An unattainable uh, world which you can only attain in your dreams. I don't uh, think that is the case. Mm -hmm. We have the capacity, the potential, mm -hmm. globally as human beings, as Africans, as Kenyans, mm -hmm. to transform our society so that people can enjoy the benefits of the 21st century. Uh -huh. That's not utopia. But, uh, if we say let everybody have have piped water in Kenya, that's uh -huh. not utopia. That is something we said we would have in by 1980, mm -hmm. before you were born. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this many years later, we haven't achieved it. Yeah. Yet it's very achievable. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. We just have to steal corruption and theft. Yeah. The money that has been stolen, for example, uh -huh. in the construction of dams alone, that money is enough to pump water into every home in this country. Mm -hmm. So it's not utopia, it's yeah. achievable. Okay. It's very realistic. So, All you need good leaders uh -huh. committed to the service of their nation, uh -huh. committed to the advancement of mankind uh -huh. and of the people of their country. Uh -huh. yeah. So maybe another question for you, but uh, this one is not political. I always ask it to anyone I interview. What can you say about life generally? Life? Yes. Life basically is life and is what you make it. Uh -huh. uh, life to me is, uh, is supposed to be simple. Uh -huh. uh, sometimes we labor so much to try and make life what it is not. Mm -hmm. To try to be things which even after you have become. You only go back to the book. I can't pronounce that. That word is. Kitabu cha mubiri. All is vanity at the end of the day. You see? Yeah. Especially in this country, uh -huh. people are trying to get money at all costs. Uh -huh. Who can crook? And uh, the money is never quite enough until one man asked me, some some American man asked me, just exactly how much does a Kenyan need? Mm -hmm. That to me is not life. Life is trying to get the good things of life mm -hmm. that are within your reach, improving yourself to get those good things, and uh, fulfilling yourself. I mean. You can fulfill yourself without owning skyscrapers. Mm -hmm. uh, life is not about money, but you need money to go by, to, go, to take children to school, to dress, to eat, to have some pension like old men like us who are retiring. That you need. Mm -hmm. But uh, we live in a country where people want to measure everything, everything using money. Mm -hmm. That is not life to me. Life is, is just what God has given you. Thank God you are alive. Being alive alone is a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, m managing to go through life doing the things that human being is supposed to do with some ease mm -hmm. and having some retirement so that your life in all age is not miserable. Mm -hmm. That to me is what life should be really. Yeah. Yeah. And always thinking about your maker if you are religious. And, uh, you are helping those who really need your help when mm -hmm. you can. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you too, All right. Lillian. All right. God bless you. Bless you too.